Hello and welcome to Bay College's video lectures for Math 085. Again, we're looking at section 3.3. This is part two. In the previous section, we talked about multiplying. Now we're going to discuss dividing with decimals. Before we begin that, let's uh, recall a few terms here. If we had a fraction, the numerator and over a denominator, we also call those the dividend, which is another name for the numerator, and the divisor, another name for the denominator. When we write it in this form to do long division, well, those terms are still used. But what's under our division bar is the dividend. And what we're dividing by is the divisor. So this says a divided by b. This says a divided by b. They're the same thing. So we have to keep that in mind. So let's look at an example here. When we're going to divide, we might have it written as a fraction initially. I have 20 divided by 0.04. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to return to this shortly. But generally, we'd write it in this form to do division. Now, with multiplication, we didn't worry about where the decimal was going to be until the end. While with division, since it's a reverse operation of multiplication, it's inverse, we have to worry about the decimal right away. We can't divide using a decimal. We have to eliminate this decimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this decimal two spots to move it to the right of this digit. So, it wouldn't, so it'll be a whole number. So if I move it here, that eliminates that value. But I move the decimal two spots. What I do to the divisor, I must also do to the dividend. It doesn't have a decimal, so I have to imagine one here. But then I have to move it two spots to the right. That's what I did here. That's what I have to do to the dividend. So I'm going to move it two spots to the right. Here's my decimal. If I need it, it's there now. I put it here, it stays there. Because we've determined where the place of the decimal will be. And now we can do the division without having to worry about that decimal. So 4 doesn't go into 2, but it does go into 20 five times, which 5 times 4 is 20. We find that difference at 0, 0. Well, 4 goes into 0, 0 times. Bring down a 0. 4 goes into 0, 0 times. And if we continue that, this would just be zeros. If I added more zeros, it's not going to change anything. So the decimal point, we find, isn't really necessary. 20 divided by 0 0.04 is 500. Just as 2,000 divided by 4 is 500. Let's look at this. Why do we do move that decimal? Well, we know we can't have a decimal and a fraction at the same time. So what we do to the bottom of a fraction, we do to the top. What we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator, because we can't change its value. Well, if I move this over two spots, it becomes 4. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. I have to give it two zeros or two more places. And if we look at this, that's the same thing. 2,000 divided by 4, 2,000 divided by 4. So if we move the uh, decimal a number of places, we have to do it to both the denominator and the numerator. Um, let's look at this example. Now, in the previous uh, video, we looked at multiplication by factors of 10. Well, division of factors of 10 is very similar. It's an easier uh, division than with other numbers and other integers. Now, <clears throat> if we're going to divide by 100, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to divide by two factors of 10. So what I can do is simply move that decimal place. Just like when I multiplied by 100, the number got bigger. I just moved the decimal to decimal places. Well, if I'm dividing by 100, this number is going to get smaller. So instead of moving the decimal to the right, that's what I did in multiplication. Now that I'm dividing by a factor of 10, I'm going to move the decimal to the left. So I take this number and I move the decimal to the left this way, because I'm dividing by a factor of 10. The number of zeros I have is the number of factors of 10. So I need two places, two places of 10. So I'm going to move it 1, 2. Here's my new decimal. So that would be 0 0.042. So we just divided 4.2 by 100 by simply moving the decimal from 4.2 to 42 one thousandths. All right. Let's look at another example. If we have 4.2 divided by 0 
So we're dividing by 2 factors of 10. But it's the other direction, right? Instead of 100, it is 1 one hundredth. So we can do the same thing here. Now, in the last example, we moved the decimal to the left. Well, we can move the decimal to the right. How far would I have to move it to get uh, this to be a whole number? Is how far I'd have to move it to the right to get this to be the, div the div dividend or the divided product, I should say. So instead of 4.2, I move the decimal to the right two spots, 1, 2. So I get 420. 4.2 divided by 0.01 is 420. So that's a shortcut when we have factors of 10. Now, maybe you don't see it right away. So let's do this. We have 4.2 divided by 0.01. Now, in order to do this division in this manner, I have to move this decimal two spots to the right. So if I move it two spots to the right, I get 1. What I do to this, I have to do to the dividend. I move it two spots to the right. This is where my decimal would be. Well, 420 divided by 1 is 420. Anything divided by 1 is itself. So the division's pretty much done. 1 goes into 4, 2, and 0, 420. We get the same result. So when we see these factors of 10, we just have to be aware if I'm dividing by a decimal, I can move it to the right, the number of factors of 10. If I'm all, or dividing by a larger factor of 10, I move the decimal to the left. All right, let's look at this example here. Now, obviously, these are not factors of 10. We have 3.6 divided by negative 0.9. And what I'm going to do is if I'm going to do this division, I'm dividing by this value. And we'll worry about the sign. We'll assess that later. So I have 0.9, or just 0.9, dividing into 3.6. Now, if to do this division, I want to remove this decimal of my divisor. So I'd have to move it one spot to make it the whole number 9. Well, what I do to one number, I have to do to the other. So that's where my decimal would be if I need it. And now I can do the division. 9 goes into 36. Well, 4. 4 times 9 is 36. I find that difference. I get 0. Well, <clears throat> 9 goes into 0, 0 times, so there's no need to go any further. There's no digits that I have to put in or bring down. So we get 4, and with the decimal is not necessary. Now, let's assess that sign. A positive divided by a negative. There's only one negative here. So when I multiply or divide, if I have an odd number of negatives, such as 1, my answer will be negative. So we have negative 4 as our solution. Now, a quick way to do this is to leave it in fraction form. I prefer fractions over long division. So I can look at this and say, you know what? If I move this one spot, what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So if I move the decimal over 1, I can move this decimal over 1. And now I have 36 divided by a negative 9. So I can assess the sign. I know it's going to be negative. 36 divided by 9 is 4, so I have negative 4, just like I did there. So sometimes, using it in fraction form, maybe we can see common factors and simplify it before we go to that long division. All right, let's look at this example here. 62.3 divided by negative 1,000. I'm dividing by a factor of 10. I would assess that and say, I'm going to move this decimal to the left. How many spots? How many factors of 10 do I have here? 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to move that decimal three spots. So I'd have 1, 2, 3. And so I know I need a placeholder. So 0 point, my placeholder, and then the rest of my digits. Now we, let's assess the sign. This was a positive divided by a negative. Only one negative here. This value is negative. I have negative 0.06. Two, three, or 623 ten thousandths. Hopefully, we understand that, right? If we're dividing by a factor of 10, move to the left. If we're dividing by a decimal factor of 10, we're moving the decimal to the right. All right, and let's see that in this example here. I have 2.5 divided by 0 0.1. 
This is a factor of 10 because this is 1 in the tenths spot, 1 tenth. So we're dividing by that factor. So I know I'm going to move the decimal to the right this many spots, one spot. So if I move this to the right one spot, I get 25. 2.5 divided by 0 0.1 is 25. All right, why don't you try this example? Not a factor of 10, so maybe you want to write it out this way. Maybe you want to convert it to a fraction. Try whatever method you're comfortable with, and good luck. <laughs>